Hello, welcome to Frequency and Flow Friday. This space is dedicated to helping you raise your frequency so you can live in optimal flow. And today we are using Divine Abundance deck by Tasha Silver. I really like this deck. Um, It really helps me to think about unique ways to raise my frequency and how to access different emotional states and get back into flow. So let's get to it. You can think about the week that you just had. We came into a last quarter moon where there was a lot of letting go. I know collectively I saw a lot of maybe old grief and old things that were moving away. And now we're headed in to a new moon solar eclipse in Libra. You can dial into um, the written info here if you want a little more information on that. But think about raising your frequency moving forward for the week ahead. If you're choosing position number one, the card you get is grief. So if you do have a little bit of a letting go, I would say that you know, you really get to have what you want. And I think that life can be a pretty magical thing. And at the same time, grief is a really real feeling. So I want you to lean in um, and know that. And I love what this card says. It says, um, tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. And if you do have grief, it's a really good and beautiful and supportive thing to feel it and not hang on to it. Because if we hang on to it, we can lower our frequency. But I also am not of the belief that you can't move through grief and not be in a higher frequency. So I'd love for you to kind of tune in to thinking about what you really want. And is there something that maybe you haven't grieved or that you're um, wanting to let go of that, that you haven't yet? And just allow yourself to move in and cry because your frequency can lift sometimes when we do cry. As a support card, we get karma with this. Um, So this card says there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. If you're choosing this position and you're in Embody One, we're really going to dive into some spaces with this next month and it's going to be fun to work out and be with. Um, But I would say that these two together, you know, really, again, think about what it is that you're wanting and also know that anything can shift, but feel the feelings and sometimes it takes feeling the feelings and processing them to lift that frequency and raise that frequency. So let me know how that sits with you. If you chose that position, if you're choosing position number two, I'm going to shuffle two times and then I'm going to choose from the middle of the deck somewhere and we get your path. I just got this this past weekend. Um, It says on the card, dear Lord, help me trust that there is a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. So this is your path. I really love the imaging on this card, the um, mandala that's there. And it just reminds me of straight to the center heart. If you're choosing this position, I want to say to keep moving forward, to tune into your high heart, to feel the resonance of your high heart, um, and also know and feel prosperity and abundance and all of the things that are happening on your side. Um, I also want to really stress with this position that there's something to be said for when we can turn the idea over that we're following our heart's truth, what our heart really wants, our high heart, our heart's desires, and we let go of the thing that maybe is not aligned. We just had that last quarter moon. So let go of the thing that's maybe not aligned, but we're shutting on ourselves. We actually raise our frequency. It's a good thing. And then finally, and keep going too. Don't stop. Keep going. That's important for frequency. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep um, raising your energy. If you're choosing position two, maybe also like exercising even because there's like a message of movement with that. And then finally, if you're choosing position number three, feng shui would be a really good thing for you to do. If you're choosing position three, we also get the grief card again. So interesting. Maybe tune into that, um, into position one, see how that resonates. And then position three, also companionship. So this card, giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. I really love this one. And this is a great way to uh, be, to lift your frequency is companionship. I would also say, again, if you're choosing position three, do something for feng shui, do something in your home, Um, maybe just complete a home project, or maybe you want to um, bring a plant into your home or flowers into the relationship sector in the back right-hand side of your home. But um, can you raise your frequency by um, maybe letting go of some old relationship grief 
and coming into and being present with new relationships in your life, maybe nurturing those. So whatever it is that you chose, I hope that this resonates and helps. May it be a benefit. I'm sending you so much love for a beautiful eclipse. And if you're a member, I will see you soon. (laughs) Ciao.